Okay, I need a drink. We had some lore bombs dropped on us last time that I am uncomfortable with. Apparently, there is tension between our heroes. Will they make it out of hell? Eh, not if Sister Mary Wormhorn has anything to say about it. Maybe that's the... <gasps> Maybe she does. Maybe we have to play her little game. Maybe, in order to do good, we have to be bad. Maybe the goodest thing we can do is being the baddest in hell. <laughs> Think about it. It could, it, it, it could work. Okay, we're going to Little Rantalia? Little Rantalia, go. Okay. It's got that small town charm. You know, and hell. The streets are a little less bloody. The house is a little less filled with bone. Apollyon and Morningstar, they go way back. I mean, they all go way back. Him and the Monarchs, the Seraphim, but... You know, when God was still scheming geometry, they were all just kids. They'd be making dolls out of baryonic matter, fighting with them. It was a real brother-sister thing, you know? After the fall, and the first guy died, she... She still believed in the rule book, you know? For a time, anyway. So Lucifer let her be the judge of the dead, deciding who would go where, and what punishment they'd receive. Uh, she's one of the more respected angels in hell, probably. Who was the first Nothing guy? Really mattered to her. Gotta ask that. Who was that. the first guy? Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Was it Adam? Ugh, everybody always asks, have you met Adam? Is he nice or a dick? Does he have Jesus abs? The asshole didn't even have a name. Guys, he was barely bipedal for Christ's sake. He would poop in his hand and throw it at monkeys. Which I mean, it's funny. Don't get me wrong. It's still... It's pretty funny. Oh. That's, uh, disappointing. Anyways... After her side judge, Yama, turned himself into a dog and moved to Mexico, Polly kind of lost her spirit for being a cosmic umpire. She teaches Empyrean Law in Astron now. Sometimes she'll do a little pro bono uh, lawyering, but... We can use a lawyer? Lawyering? Yeah! So we can get, like, a like, like a retrial or something? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not, not for people like you, who obviously belong here. But, uh, sometimes, yeah, for fringe cases, we'll have public trials in the square. We're fringe. We are very, f whoa, I like whatever the hell that is. Okay, little Rontalia, here we are. One of hell's oldest districts founded, uh, founded right after the war. Lots of relics, landmarks, and Arby's just opened up on the other side of town. And the Karma Magistratus, or the courts of hell, are down the, uh, down the road here. Sort of like your Supreme Court, except Actually, Supreme, all the rulings are final. A judicial system in hell seems uh, somewhat out of place. What kind of cases would you even see? We're already in hell. Well, probably like probably like uh, like nuns who stole bread for their dying, but racist. No, pets. it's for like boys who kill their abusive fathers or women who kill their mother-in-laws. Polly usually hangs out in the sealed knot, the first bar ever in hell. Demons only. Demons only? So how how do we get in? Uh, you don't. Not unless you can come out with an overly complicated scheme involving identity switching. Well, well, well. <laughs> if there's one thing I can do, it's overly complicated scheme. That background's cool looking. Okay. So we're going into the cave from Mr. Oxen Andy, Free. Have oh. I ever told you that you remind me of my uncle? who would take me upon his shoulders to pick apples in the summer. <sighs> We're all mass murderers, nostalgia humpers, or is it just you, Roberto? Like I said, Mr. Andy, I did not commit the crimes I am accused of. My name's Androlfus, Roberto. I'm your court-ordered attorney, remember? And as soon as my paralegal shows up, we're going to trial and you're probably going to burn. So, save the my talking parakeet made me do a defense till then, okay? Ciao, ragazzi, please. Could you, can you help? Is he talking to us? You. I'm talking to the two of you. Do yeah. not be afraid. He's talking to us. Should we help the guy? Sure. What What do you need? Bless you, bless you. Uh, perhaps uh, you will indulge me by performing me a small favor. 
Uh, could you just uh, just straighten my hair a little? It's a me crazy mother, psycho uh, killer thing. Soul would never want me to look so disheveled. As you can see, I am bound so I cannot reach my head. Uh, please, it is a kindness I would cherish to my soul. Right. And when I do, you lean in and bite my face off. Is that the deal? Use my face as a skin mask to escape your confines? I do not know of any deal. But I am not so inventively rude. Please. By helping my hair, it may be the last piece of affection I am allowed before eternal damnation. Well, at that point, it won't matter, but <laughs> we got it, right? Don't bite me, you monster. There. Your, your madre would be proud, or at least less, slightly less ashamed. Grazie, grazie. Thank you ever so much. May you meet souls as nice as you on your journey through Hades. So what did that... It's like there's going to be a headline that says, Well put together, murderer strikes again! Wormhorn's going to be like, Actually, he killed way more people than you thought. <laughs> okay. I had an interesting uh, thought. You think after you're dead, people look through your browsing history for laughs? You know, like the way they look through old pictures. Would that be a problem for you? Why wouldn't they? I know I'd want to see how much you like, you know, big asses. Is that the worst thing you could think of? I don't watch a lot of male-directed porn, okay? I prefer my porn AI compiled from National Geographic documentaries. <laughs> that sounds worse. That sounds way more nasty. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we got to save and we're here. And I can't go inside, but we can go past, it looks like. And where is past? A tent and a grotto and hell mouths. A lot of hell mouths, bloody hell mouths. Oh, but they're lit very well. Uh, there's a line, hurdy, dirty, hurdy, gurdy is that way. Go upstairs. And then there's the dirty hurdy gurdy. Oh my god, there's so much. There's so much going on. Okay, let's go all the way back. Because I know he's going to reject us. And we probably have to hit that. I like how they lit that one area just so you could see the scary mouths that spit blood. <laughs> they were like, you know, people need to see it, Satan. You're like, ah, you're right. I'm so stupid. Why build something so awesome? Okay. The sealed nah. I think this is the place. Excuse us, we're just gonna... Just gonna what? It's demonic entities only beyond this point. Incubi, succubi, demons of fate, familiars, leviathans, Norwegians, CEOs of Walmart. We get it. I'm sure there are other, more appropriate establishments that would be more than happy to serve you. Uh, listen, bouncer guy, we're here to see Apollyon, so why don't you step aside and... <laughs> and no one just sees Apollyon. But... There is pleasure in the pathless woods, friends. Know what that means. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, yes. <laughs> um, excuse me, uh, fellow, fellow. That demon. is just two people stacked Anyway-Porto on top of each other. Go Magnavox, the demon of uh, foot hands. Oh, right this way, sir. Why don't we just do that? Okay, so I have another interesting thought, but I want you to promise that you won't make fun of me if it's dumb. They say there's a fine line between madness and genius. And I feel like I might have broken through to the other side, uh, but I'm not totally sure which side I started on. Good God, Milo, just say it. I promise not to make fun of you. Cross my heart, hope to g whatever. Okay, I have your word. What? Think about it. How many tattered curtains and loose skulls have you seen while we've been down here? That was like Barney the Clown's big top Halloween shop, but less emotionally scarring. So, 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 all we need to do is put together a costume slash disguise, and then we come back here and stroll right past this uppity moron. It, it, anyways, I was saying that I think we should disguise ourselves as a demon. So, so we can sneak into the sealed knot, yeah. Uh, have I lost you? I did, didn't I? Mm. 
It's pretty good. I mean, as far-fetched as it is, it's not half bad. It already happened it's once. as good as your instant s'mores idea. Yeah, but this idea won't get ruined by a German microwave. Let's go shopping. Shopping? I was trying to... Let's find the materials to make a costume. Oh, sorry. Okay, so now we're going to go this way. Uh, hey, so Whoop. when you told Sam about how I was going to work with my mom... Yeah? Well, you... Uh, I don't know. You, you didn't seem... Uh, well, you did seem a little... Like, I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Like, uh, oh, geez, I need like a thesaurus. Annoyed? Annoyed? Even though, you know, you're the one moving. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means if anyone should feel like betrayed or whatever, it's me. Uh oh, here we go. Or would ever betrayed? Betrayed? Are you joking? This isn't a Harold Pinter production, Milo. I'm not betraying you by moving. Okay, I don't even know why I brought it up. It was just your your tone back there. Well, neither do I. We got a lawyer demon to outsaw, so get fucking frosty. The tension, it grows. And so does my appetite for bows. Bows is the word I use for booze. <laughs> okay, so I can't go up here now. And then we have an all the way over here. Let's go an all the way over to Dirty Hurdy Gurdy. Because it's dirty. That's uh, a dirty gurdy. Nope, that's closed. Where are we at? Kebabs? Does that say Aaron's Kebabs? Oh, Aaron. The kebab place next to the rock club closed down? That must have been a shit kebab place. And I can't get in to rock out. Oh, damn. There's agents outside. <laughs> Everyone giving us shit. So rude. Okay. Well, I walked over here. I came. I got made fun of. I'm going to walk myself back. that save. I knew there was a save in that area because it was giving me the like oopty goopties. It was like eh, oh, come on, come on. that is the sound of lag. <laughs> I'm going to just drink more and shut up. Come on, come on, come on. It's also scat man. I'm a scat man. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, so this takes us oh. Up to here. Yeah, what the hell is this? Giant gate of hell. Yeah, what's, what is it? The sign says that giant door is the the 87th propyleum to the nine circles. Yamaloka, one of the many doorways to hell. Ours are Cockrow to Eventide. And if all goes to plan, we'll be telling Weekly World News about it well before uh, Cockro. Yeah, I really don't need to see what's on the other side. I do! Is it a row of cocks? <laughs> I don't know what Cockro means when the cock crows. Are there crows with cocks? A lot of questions. What the hell is this? Uh... Oh, it's the hole where Satan fell. Conveniently into this church. The unchaste crater. It says it's where Satan landed when God threw him out of heaven. Yeah, it looks like he left a big hole. I think he's calling it unchaste because God was being rude. We go over here and look at... Oh, that's just that. This is neato. Neato. Look at all the lore. This place is great. Whoop. Not getting this. <laughs> Not getting this, though. We can't uh, crawl in there? Is that like Satan's first house? It was a fixer-upper. <laughs> a lot of rubble. But, uh, you know, I made it work. Come all the way over here. Oh, there's another floor up above, maybe? 
I'm trying to search for context clues. Alright, so I assume that's the courthouse, or... Yeah, the Hall of Justice! Meanwhile, at the Hall of Justice in Hell! Batman, we're in hell. Oh, shit! The Karma Magistratus. The Great Hall of Cosmic Justice. I wonder what kind of cases they see. You'd think this stuff would be worked out pretty well in advance. Yeah, it's probably like people who brag a little too much about getting a good parking space, you know? Like, do they deserve to be tortured in hell for... Yes. Ah, so this is like cosmic justice. So Martian Manhunter, that kind of thing. No, it's one cup mashed up nose weevil, a half cup body butter, three eggs. What kind of eggs? Uh, soft shell turtles if they're in season. A little flower. Hateful flower. Uh-huh. And what about... And then we skin fry some unicorns and toss them in oil. Sounds great. I'll take one. <laughs> what? Here you go. This lady's selling candy on the train to Hogwarts? What the hell is this? I regret having that. They're still working out the recipe. Uh, hello? Oh, drunk children! Drunk children, please! Take some treats from Treat Cart. I am Lutzelfrau, and my charming Germanic witch recipes will surely soak up all that alcohol. We're not drunk. Then pretend, okay? The rebel here is more discerning than Lutzelfrau expected. They don't serve lava blasters here, so everyone still has their taste buds. Help Lutzelfrau out, all right? Okay, well, slow down here a minute then. We're, uh... Well, you know, we're intelligent people, and intelligent people require some measure of... God, you selfish little pricks! You'll shut down the borders if a kumquat slips past Mexico, but you have to barter with my shit! Just tell Lutzelfrau what you want. I won't do it! I don't run thing. Look, we're, we're in hell! You gotta be bad to be good. We want your dress. Your dress. It's so... I've just never seen this fabric before. And it's so hard Listen, what to What a weird thing to yell at someone. Hell. Give me your dress. Oh, what an eye you have. The fabric is a mesh sewn from the hair of children born during an eclipse. You can only acquire it through Mazoku rituals or Thursday night specials at Kohl's. You can get anything this, at Kohl's. You'll need to sell your love for Lutzelfrau's treats good, my dear. Give me, uh, just give me your least disgusting piece of crap. Uh, but not, uh, not literal poop, please. Right. Good coach. Eat uh, candy. What's the hold up? Milo couldn't take it. Oh, so you like Lutzelfrau's Ebola bellied rats? Do you, my dear? Oh, it's so, God, it's so good. Uh, actually, let's say it's the fucking best because we don't bring God into this. Yeah, dog. This is a fucking bomb. Ooh. Hey, that idiot tried that weird witch's candy. They love it. Holy shit. Let's go, guys. Come on. Let's get some candy. Yeah. Rat candy. What? <laughs> oh, yes. Rat Come candy. On. There's no need to shove. I have so many sauces for all my diseased meats. Okay. Now, the dress, if you please. Give us the, the dress, you. Oh, God. Mm. Why was I bored? Okay, follow Lutzelfrau and smile, dipshits. You're on camera, all right? So no samples while I'm gone. So, you're sharing, I presume? Who's gonna be the head and who's gonna be the tail? Oh, oh yeah, you're like way taller, aren't you? <laughs> Weight and good taste dictate I get on top. Hope you're cool with that? Yeah, of course I'm cool with it. Yeah, I was embarrassed to be the top cheerleader on the pyramid in junior high. Well, I was embarrassed for you for other closely related reasons, but yeah. Good taste. I assume that's the implication that, like, hey, don't stick your wiener in my honest, neck. <laughs> I wouldn't let you buy Lutzelfrau a drink. Those mother... Hell is really filled with cock knockers, you know? You wouldn't... You wouldn't think it, but there it is. Okay, whoa. Stop wiggling your shoulders so much. It's... Your skull is pressed up against my junk. I'm sorry, it's... I don't want to say you're heavy, but... You're, uh... 
Not that easy to carry. Hey, it's not too late to switch, okay? If little mister, of course I'm fine with it. Of course I'm cool with it. Of course it's too late, and I am cool with it. If a demon sees us change, it's... We're screwed, so let's... I'll press on. We're pressing on. Just take it easy. Just stop humping my I'm neck. I'm not humping your neck. Stop rubbing your crotch on my neck. How do you think I can stay on? I'm... Ugh. Okay, just forget it. <laughs> tell me. Telly, fourth. Let's just get to the bar, okay? Let's get to Polly. I was so worried about his balls on her neck that I didn't even think about her hoo-ha on his woo-wah. Oh, my God. Woo-wah is demonic for neck. Everything in hell rhymes, of course. It's, uh, you know. I can go upstairs, huh? Why would I need to do that? Also, <laughs> we're somehow faster as two. When do become one? Uh, all right, we're walking towards the camera. That's not what I wanted to happen. We can go downstairs or O M guts. Oh, what the hell is this? Commemorating the fallen in the war against the sons of light by the lords of darkness. So dramatic, huh? What is this? Just another lookout area? All right, well. Can I ask you a question? Is that guy riding two demon stags? <gasps> like Antonio Banderas in the Mask of Zorro? <laughs> Oh my god. By the way, that's a great movie. I'm just putting it out there. Tonight, when you're done with this, go on Netflix. Go get Mask of Zorro. Go watch that. It is delightful. Anthony Hopkins, Catherine Zeta-Jones, Antonio Banderas, some blonde guy. It's wonderful. So we gotta go all the way down. What do you think the rent is in a place like that back there? Mostly since most of it has newspapers in the window. The Sticks Apartments. Right next to the right next to the Rentalia Exchange. Right next to the courthouse. Normally you'd think that'd be prime real estate. So we can't go to hurdy gurdy, dirty hurdy gurdy, but I kind of want to go there. That place looks rocking. We look like a black mage, like a really tall, awkward black mage. And if that gets me in, I'm feeling good about it. I'm not Vivi. I am PP. Yep. <laughs> Yep. We're meeting Apollyon in there, Footman. You can stow the human and carry on. I'll <clears throat> have to check with the owner. Then check with him. I've got less than an hour till trial. <gasps> Is this story gonna go somewhere? Ciao, ragazzo. Another beautiful day in hell. You seem like a well-to-do demon. Very put together. Of scale like a camel. Perhaps you know Andrelfus. Andy? He is my handler. Uh, out of the way, skin bag. Shut your pie hole, human, before I demon all over your goddamn thyroid. <laughs> oh, my apologies. Scusi. Uh, but you, you sound very familiar. Coincidence. Okay. <laughs> okay. You guys are all set. She's in the back. You move. Walk straight to the kitchen and get into the flower drawer. Of course, of course. Yeah, he's very amicable about the whole situation. All right. Black Mage PP, reporting for duty. <laughs> Good evening, madam. Right this way. I'm going to say nothing. I'm going to keep going. If I talk, they'll, she'll recognize me. Can I just go? Yeah, nice. Get ready to see some wild shit. I bet this is going to be the least wild place. I think I've been to this place. We to draw any more attention to ourselves than we need to. Okay, but don't talk anymore. Demon's guts can't speak, I don't think. We're gonna need a refill and uh, something to fish out the teeth. 
What are you saving up for college? Huh? There's not enough liquor in my liquor. Gerald. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you give Father Barleycorn here a break, all right? Okay, fine. Sorry, Barley. Didn't know you didn't know how to make a drink. It's all right, Jerry. Thank you, Judge Apollyon. Holy shit. The, uh, the monarch, uh, Apollyon, she's right there. I can, I can see her. Okay, well, it's it's hard to really walk uh, steadily. Just take it slow and don't draw attention to yourself, ourselves. Looks like a bar I once went to in a bridge actually under a bridge in Warsaw, Poland. It was great. Uh, get a drink, obviously. Wow, supermodel convention show up? What can I get you? Oh, she hitting on me. Okay, hoard and squander. That's liquid courage, nice. Oh, rich asshole. Witty vaudevillian. Uh-huh, or more liquid courage. Hmm. It's gotta be one of these two. If I'm beautiful and rich, what a stunning, <laughs> what a stunning mix that would be. But also, I could be witty and be like, nyah, 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 nyah. because I imagine it's vaudeville, but also villain. So we have to uh, see what one this grand does. exhibitionist. Like awful jokes? <laughs> I do. I do love awful jokes. Oh, you getting sick? <laughs> Why do you ask? Because you sound like you got a baby stuck in your throat with that nasally human voice. It's hell flu season, so... I just want to know if I should put on a mask. Hey, I might be sick. It was so cold in my apartment, I chipped my tooth on my suit. Huh. That sounds like something two idiot humans disguised as one gangly demon would say. <laughs> Not that that would ever happen. <laughs> oh man, that would be a sight. Okay, we have a drink. Let's party with the paralegal. It is exactly what I wanted. Oh my goodness. Whoa! This, we took a turn somewhere because. Oh, gross, guys. What's going on? I can't, I can't see. I don't smell like my grandmother's basement. Man, thank God I'm on top. Your delicate sensibilities could not have handled this, Milo. They're doing things with their bodies that only starfish should get away with. I hate being on bottom. I love the fact that the one down here is obviously just doing CPR. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh, there's our guy. Is that the same guy? This room. All right, we gotta we gotta go back into this place. <laughs> Boy, this is. I should take notes. I should let more people in here. Whoever can't see this is really missing out. You sons of. All right, let's talk to the other us. Hello, fellow, uh, fellow specters of malevolence. Can I can I help you with something? You can help me with a joke. So, a woman walks into a bar looking a little down. Bartender asks her what the problem is. The woman says, "I think I have to get a divorce." Bartender asks why. The woman says, "Well, my husband has a twin, and I end up making love to him by mistake." The bartender says, "Come on, that's an easy fix. Surely there must be some difference between the two men." You better believe there's a difference, the woman says. Well, that's why I want the divorce. Hey Sex isn't everything. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I know. It's, it's just a joke. Well, I only really like jokes where people get hurt somehow. <laughs> I think that was emotionally scarring for someone. Uh, <laughs> I can't even believe this is, this is the path I'm taking. All right. Hi, uh, mind, mind if we... Smell that? Smells like a, a pancreas, right? Like a human's gut line. Lola, let's not. I don't think I can do this, Lola. Did you say something? Could have sworn I heard something. Hey, that uh, that reminds me. What did uh, what did one eye say to the other? Between you and me, something smells. Ah, you must be the clown my ex-wife ordered me for our anniversary. Actually, you know what, guys? I don't think it's the cigars. My Mephistopheles beard this place is just going to dung beetles, isn't it? Shit, in its heyday, I'd be having horse hay shoved up my penis hole by now. But today I'm stuck debating the rotten odors of humanity with you jackanapes. Yeah, and we don't fox trot as much as we used to either. I apologize on behalf of my friend here. He's usually not this, um, splenetic. That's not a real word. Ill-tempered, spiteful, it... Biathosaurus. I kinda wanna know what the bar used to be like. 
So, just out of curiosity, what did this bar used to be like then? Oh, crazy. Crazy. Uh, go ahead. It was crazy. Sex, drugs, and classical music by trained multi limb chimerical beings. I mean, we still have the Chamber of Coitus, but <laughs> what's a Chamber of Coitus without a Sphinx on piano? Eh, All right, point taken. Gonna reload. Anybody want another? Oh my god, yes. Rich asshole. Uh, the Blue Devil. Mm, yeah, please. yeah, okay, got it. I'll be back. Well, I guess introductions are in order. I'm Adrelfus, defense attorney. Friends call me Andy. That's Delbert, my paralegal. No one calls him anything. And I'm Sister Mary Wormhorn, newly counsel for the Who Gives a Shit firm of I'm Making This Up. How's everyone doing? <laughs> oh, uh, good. And how are you doing, stranger? Did anyone, no one caught the spell his name yet, right? Uh, no, we were just getting to it. But I feel like I've seen you before. Oh, yeah, I'm Lutzelfrau. My name is Lutzelfrau. Lutzelfrau? Really? Oh, you're a witch, right? Yeah, I think I've heard of you. She's the one that makes pies out of kittens and washes her clothes in, uh, what, what was it? Feces. Ow, feces, right. Lutzelfrau. I'm a total recipe hound. Tell me, what's your secret ingredient for those candy apples again? Oh. Yes, please indulge us. It help out my mother's cooking. I got a drink. Uh, I got a drink out of this. Hey, never mind that. But if you're looking to hire a good cook, I can give you some advice. Never take on a little chef. The stakes are too high. Hey, oh! Uh, makes sense both literally and <laughs> we got out of it. God, the jack hole ahead of me could decide between a bitter or an ale. Hey, hey, hey. look who it is, Gerald. I'd like you to meet. Lutzelfra. Ah, the Witch of the Black Forest. Nice to meet you. So anyway, Rory stayed out all hours with Satan and Caligula last night. <laughs> oh no. So of course the monster didn't show up for her shift this morning. So guess who had a butcher 300 humans by hand? Gerald, seriously? Pick your spots, man. We're trying to relax and keep bringing up work. I'm sorry. We can't all be fancy lawyers. Some of us have real jobs. Don't we all? I think our new friend probably knows something about that. Where are you working now, Lutzelfrau? I was just about to ask the same question. Well, let me be clear. I don't actually, you know, work. Not with my, uh, my body, per se. I'm more conceptually driven. I come up with things, and then people invest. And, you know, the <laughs> Chinese <laughs> markets. I think I've had this conversation oh, with someone, God. too. Got what? Okay, cats and kittens. Trials in a few. In the courtyard, yes? I'll trust you all to finish your drinks on time. Yes, ma'am. All right. I'll be in back if anyone needs anything. Ooh, I gotta go, uh, destroy the bathroom. But maybe I'll catch up with you guys later. Wait, guys, Polly isn't our... <clears throat> uh, you must think you're the cock of the walk, don't you? Well, you might be the cock of the walk, but I'm the chalk of the damn... Talk. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. Bye. It's been strange. Polly's been really busy with something lately. Something secretive. Oh my like, God. Uh, I'm sorry. Are are we keeping you? Your wonky eye was kind of following Polly for a moment there. Uh, what do you do? No, no. Go on about your uh, your boss. Well, I shouldn't be really talking about this, but you know our client, Roberto Spaghetti. I think he's Dutch. But anyways, the kid swears up and down that he's innocent. Like, to a degree that's unusual for down here. But Polly, she seems more interested in Satan's affairs. Affairs? It's just, uh, Lucifer's been, oh, hell hasn't been a source of inspiration for a while. Demons and people aren't exactly skipping to work. It's not fun anymore. And it used to be. It should be. We all know it, and I think, I just think Polly's maybe possibly looking for, well, Let's call it a promotion. If you can read between the lines here. I'm following, I think. What, like a hostile takeover? How would that even work? Beelzebub's been running things for practically a millennia now, and Satan, if he's not careful, he's looking for another fall. We shouldn't be talking about this, Andy. She's just in the other room. All right, all right. I should get back to work anyway. Courthouse opens soon. It was nice meeting you. Mm. All right, we successfully pretended to be an incorporeal malevolent being. Yeah, I wouldn't print that out on a certificate or anything. I uh, would. It's kind of nuts about Apollyon, though. Like, what if we're standing on the precipice of a coup, right? I know I shouldn't get, like, excited about it, but 
Yeah, let's let's not get distracted from the uh, the smaller picture here. We just want to get home, not necessarily involved in any interdemon corporate power struggles here. Let's just find Apollyon and outdrink the judge. Yeah, I think she went in back. Let's uh, take a look. Things are afoot. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots. We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Out of that time of video games. Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing the music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a production of broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. <laughs> 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 <laughs>